Hey, is this real? I can't tell. Hey! Hi! We are uh, having technical difficulties, so there's only one microphone today. But no one gives a fuck. No. Uh, we're going to be talking about Coheed and Cambria. New album. The, 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 the color uh, before the sun. <laughs> it came out October 16th. See, I could have sworn when they announced this. They I thought it was too. announced October 9th, and That's I heard I nothing thought. that it got delayed. Yeah. So fuck them. Um. This is their eighth album. This is their first non-conceptual album. It's Indeed. just an album. It's just music. Uh, Luke is the biggest Coheed fan of of us all. Mm -hmm. So what's your thoughts, baby? You know, when I first bought this album, or sorry, when I first listened to it on Spotify, I just actually bought the actual disc a couple days ago. I wasn't sure how I felt about this album. Um... Because it is a very different uh, direction for uh, Coheed and Cambria, um, and I was, it, it almost didn't feel like a Coheed and Cambria album to me at first, and I'm still not sure if it really does, and um, I was reading an interview that Claudio did, and he was talking about the album going through, you know, track by track, and kind of how he went about writing it, and he said that even to him at first it really didn't feel like it was going to be a Coheed and Cambria album just because he was in a different place uh, creatively. And I can understand that. I mean, the band has been around in some way or another for about 20 years now. Um, as Coheed and Cambria since, you know, 2001. So they've had a, you know, 14-year run. And it's just the, the sound of it, the writing, it seems like it's, I don't know, I don't want to say older, but more mature, less, you know, you know, 20-year-old piss and vinegar, you know, sounding, and it's a little more, I don't know, thought out. You don't hear, have the, you know, the solos that you had on, like, Welcome Home or, you know, No World for Tomorrow, things like that. And if you're a longtime Coheed fan watching this and you haven't heard any of the singles... You're going in blind and you're expecting something like Second Stage Turbine Blade, Good Apollo, and Keeping Secrets. You might be disappointed because it sounds almost at all, or almost nothing at all like those albums. Uh, the closest I think anything on this album got to was uh, The Audience, which is the second to last song on the album, was probably the closest thing to a old Coheed and Cambria song. So, I don't know. Even the Afterman albums, which were actually in the concept of uh, the first five, or you know, in the universe that they had, had to grow on me a little bit. This might grow on me too, but at the moment, I'm still really not sure how I feel about the album. I love this album. I, it's a good album. It's just like I I can completely understand because it's totally different from what Coheed and Cambria does. It doesn't have that that epic feeling. It's not very progressive at all. No, not at all. Any of that stuff. It's more straight up just poppy. More just straight up rock. Uh but it's just something about this album. I think it's more about its hooks that just yeah. get into you really bad. I, I when I first heard the first song, "You Got Spirit Kid," I was like, "It's it's all right." I mean, but then the more I listen to it, the more I'm like, "All right, they win the the award for the most catchiest part in a song in 2015." Right after that chorus, that ooh ah a ooh ah yeah. e ay, you know. It sounds like super queer almost, but it works. Yeah. Like I, I don't know. It's really catchy, and that that song's pretty cool. But 
Uh, I mean, there's some very beautiful moments on here. I think, and some of them are beautiful in different ways. Like, I, I love the song Ghost. I think that's mm-hmm. just a fantastic song, but my only problem with that song is that it completely just stops. Yeah. It's the shorter song in the album, and it just stops. It's almost like they didn't know where to go with it. And I was like, man, he had something fucking going with this. But then, you know, Here to Mars is, you know, it's a very poppy song. You know, that that one's more beautiful lyrically. Um, that that song's all right. But by far, in my, my favorite song on here is Peace of the Mountain. It is a very beautiful song. <sighs> I cannot stop listening to that song it's just something about that song the way it builds up the way it ends uh claudio's uh vocals on that song are just fantastic although i can't stand the way he says distance in the beginning it just rubs me the wrong way but you know it's just that song is gorgeous and it is so well written and and it just you know, it just digs into you. That's the thing about some of these songs. They just really dig into you and just get stuck in your head all the time. But I don't think this is the best thing Coheed and Cambria has done. I think, I just think, yeah, that, you know, I feel if you're a longtime Coheed fan, you might uh, feel a little let down by this. I I came into Coheed probably like a lot of people when Rock Band came out in 2007 and welcome home was on there i'm like what the fuck is this this is awesome Mm -hmm. uh and then you know i i I started paying a lot more attention to him when both of the Afterman albums came out which i think were very good but it's just a different direction for coheed and camry and i'm just curious like are they going to go back to the concept albums are they going to just write another one here maybe they have a different direction and sound with it it's it's definitely a different album, uh, and I think it's going to be a, a divisive one. But I think it stands out. I mean, there's not really, like Luke said, there's not really those solos. There's not even really those riffs. Uh, the riffs, there's even a single solo on the entire album. I don't think there was either. And the riffs are super straightforward most of the time. But you know, most of the time it, it works. You know, there is some melody there uh, with you know leads and stuff, but there's no real solos or riffs on here and. Uh, I, I think Claudio sounds fantastic. I think he, you know, he's definitely has one of the most unique voices in music, and I think he, you know, judging from someone that might not be into Coheed and Cambria, and then you suggest them to them, I think the vocals might be the the point where they get turned off. I but I think so. once you get past that, it, it, you realize that he's a very good singer. He just has a very high pitched voice and a very different voice, but it works so well with what they do. And uh, I, you know, I think I think he works really well in here. There's some, I, I'd say the vocals are probably the highlight of the album. Um, but not every song works for me. Uh, I forget what song it is. Young Love is yeah. fucking boring. Uh, Colors is all right. I mean, that's that's a more slow song, but the audience is definitely a good song too. But that's probably the most rocking song on the album. Yeah, that's that's the one like Lou said. It's the one that feels a little bit more older. Uh, but yeah, I I like this album. I think it's I think it's pretty alright. Yeah, I mean, like you said, there are definitely very catchy songs. And like I said, it's not that I hate the album. I actually very much like this album. It just felt different. Like. Um, Colors or Ghost felt more like uh, something that would be in Claudio's side project, Prizefighter Inferno, more than on an actual Coheed album. But yeah, there are very catchy songs. Here to Mars is very catchy. Um, Atlas, the chorus for that, which he actually wrote for his son. Uh, very, very good song. You got Spirit Kid, of course. The first single is by far probably one of my favorites on the album besides the audience. And uh, in regards to Peace of the Mountain, it is a very beautiful song, but the more I listen to it, the more it feels like a farewell to fans or a thank you for all the support. And I really hope that's not the case because I do love this band. Uh, I think they have a lot more to offer musically. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, Claudio's voice, I don't think, has sounded better. I mean, he's definitely coming into his own as a vocalist and uh, as a songwriter himself. Uh, Josh Shepard's drums are getting... 
I think they've gotten better than what they were uh, on the first four albums. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, it's just, like I said, this album probably will have to grow on me as a Coheed album, even though it is still a very solid, solid album, very good uh, rock album. So, uh, what's your score? 8 out of 10. It's solid. You should listen to it. Yeah, 8 out of 10 for me as well. Um, it, it's a very solid album. It's not that I hate the album, like I said. it's It just felt weird the first time I listened to it. And it's really definitely grown on me, I can tell, in the couple times I've listened to it since. So, uh, yeah. Solid 8 out of 10. Yeah. No one gives a fuck who you are. Nobody. Do you think people give a fuck who we are? No. 